So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a custom post type into the WP API so that you can then use it in the app. So for example, I have a page here that shows an events calendar pro event in an API list. And if I click into it, it gives you more details. And the, uh, I haven't messed with the look or the layout or anything, so it's a little clunky, but uh, this is just basically how to get it into the API so you can work with it. So if you were to uh, just activate, let me just get rid of this real quick. If you were to just activate the Events Calendar Pro plugin and then you go to the API, you'll see that the events is not there. Um, Tribe events or events, no matter what slug you use, it's not there. They actually have their own API, but we're not using that for our purposes here because it's not the right format. Um, the goal here is to get any custom post type into the API. So how you do that is this code right here, which you can find in the REST API developer documentation, or I have a gist on GitHub. And what you do is you just hook into this register post type filter. You use the post type slug, and then you change the show and REST argument to true. Um, in our case, we also change the REST base, which is basically the last part of the slug that you for the API endpoint. And we change the controller class to REST post controller. Um, this is the default actually, but in this case, um, we needed it there so that it's the right format. So um, the only line you really need is this one right here, uh, but we use these ones are optional. So if I put this code in a plugin, I have this plugin kind of ready to go. It's already active on my site. It's just for custom code. Then when I go to the API, uh, oops, I made the slug tribe events. Then you'll see that I, my event actually shows up here in the API. And you need to make sure that you have published events that are in the future um, for them to show up here. Past events will not show up for this particular, in this particular case. Uh, but for all, for all other um, a, uh, custom post types, you know, the date doesn't matter. They'll all show up as long as they're published. So now that I have that, I can go into my app and I can choose an API list or an uh, HTML page and use the uh, list component and put my route there. And then when I save that and rebuild, you'll see that I have a list here. And obviously you can customize the way that this looks and add featured images and event dates on the list description and, and everything like that. Um, but this is basically how to get it in there. Now, if you were to if you wanted to use a different post type slug, for example, the maybe your post type is, um, you know, like a sermon, you just use the slug of the post type, so whatever it is, and then you change it to uh, show and rest. So you don't need those other two. If this was all I wanted to do, then that would that would work. Um, I can also, you know, write this code so it puts multiple post types in there, obviously. Um, so this does not cover putting post meta into the API. So for example, with a tribe event, we have some detail which is in post meta, such as, um, I'm not sure exactly what they have in post meta, but I just know that all the event details are not here, like the event price or something like that. If that was not showing up in the API, you do actually have to use, uh, or you have to actually add that, use the register rest field to add that. Um, and I will cover that in another video.